Hi, my name is Sean Olson. For years I've been wanting to build levels for the Source game engine inside of 3DS Max. And if you're like me and really like 3DS Max and don't really enjoy working in Hammer, you may have been frustrated when you search the internet over the years and find people saying that you would never want to do that. Well, honestly, I think anyone who says that doesn't really know what they're talking about, probably because either they don't have 3DS Max or they've just been repeating the same info they've been getting on the internet for years. But you can build levels in 3DS. The first thing I'm going to do is show you some of the tips on setting up Max for level design. In specifics, we're setting up for the Source game engine. First thing you want to do is make sure that your units in Max are going to match what is expected in Hammer and Source game engine. So you want to set up your units. Go to Customize and Unit Setup and make sure you have generic units chosen. And for the system units, always have it set that one unit equals one inch. That will mean all of your things will match up. The units are the same as in Hammer, so if you make a block that is 128 units long by 32 units wide in Max, it will be the same in Hammer. The next thing you want to do is always make sure you have the snaps on and snap to grid points. That way you keep everything on the grid. In the level design, you always want your objects to be on the grid. The next thing you want to do is right click the snaps menu and you can right click any of several of these up here to get this up and you will want to go to home grid and one of the things you want to do is change the grid spacing to a value that is a, a multiple of eight if I change this down to eight you'll notice that the grid size on the screen changes to these very small units if I change it to 16 they get a little bit bigger 32 a little bit bigger when I start blocking out my map I actually like it to be 128 and you can choose whatever you want and these other value the major lines and perspective view those are um, just on your own preferences but make sure you choose grid spacing to be something that is a multiple of 8 I think by default max has it set to 10 you do not want 10 you want it to be 8 16 32 64 128 something like that so the next tip that I have is to create something on your screen that gives you a sense of scale what I like to do is just to create a box and this this box is really large but what we want to change it to is 72 high by 24 wide by 24, 24 by 24 by 72. This is roughly the size of a player model. So if you add something in your scene like this, it will give you a sense of scale, which is very helpful. A lot of times if you don't do something like this, you may build an entire level and then find out that everything is either way too large or way too small. Another thing you can do is actually import a, a model of a character and, and have it set to the correct size. For me, this is good enough. And that's the basics of setting up Max for Source. Those are the things you really need to have set up no matter how you're going to get your objects into Max. Whether you are using Max just to build your models and displacements with the wall worm tools and or you're using convexity. My uh, guess is that you'll want to use both. I use both. The next lesson will go into actually building something with the standard Max tools and exporting them into Hammer with convexity.